Welcome, little scientists. It's Miss Jisa. We've been talking a lot about life cycles. We've talked about the life cycle of a worm, the life cycle of an apple tree, the life cycle of a pumpkin, and the life cycle of a spider. This week, we're going to learn about another life cycle. Can you tell which animal we're going to learn about this week? Look at my dress for a hint. That's right, we're going to learn about the life cycle of a chicken. And today's story is called, Where Do Chicks Come From? Story is written by Amy E. Sklansky and illustrated by Pam Paparoni. This is an egg. You've seen eggs before, but this one is different. In three weeks, a chick will hatch out of this egg. An egg begins as a tiny white spot inside the mother's chicken. An egg begins as a tiny white spot inside the mother chicken, the hen. There may be many tiny eggs inside the hen at one time. A yellow yolk grows around each egg. Then the father chicken, the rooster, mates with the hen. His sperm joins the growing egg. This is called fertilization. Soon a clear jelly-like egg white or albumin grows around the yolk. Finally a hard shell forms. The egg is ready to be laid. The hen lays the egg. Over the next few days, she lays several more eggs. The hen sits on top of the eggs to keep them warm. As soon as the eggs are warm, the chicks start growing. Inside the warm egg is everything a chick needs to grow. The yellow yolk contains liquid food. The albumin contains water and a little more food. At one end of the egg is an air sac this is where the chick will take its first breath. A thin white skin grows around the yolk and albumin and sticks to the inside of the shell. It holds the albumin together to cushion the growing chick. The egg you eat for breakfast could never grow into a chick because it was never fertilized. Otherwise, all parts inside the egg are the same. The hen has warmed her eggs for three days now. Inside, the chicks are growing. Day three, the chick looks like the letter C with a dark spot in the middle. This spot is its heart. The heart pumps blood. The blood carries water and food from the yolk and albumin to the growing chick. The chick's waste collects in a small sack. Day five, the chick's head is now half as big as its body, and its eyes are very large. Its tail has begun to grow. Wings and legs are forming. Briefly, the hen leaves the eggs to find food and water. She quickly returns to warm them again. Day seven, the chick is only one inch long, about as long as your big toe. Even so, it is already starting to look like a chicken. The chick's eyes, stomach, brain, and toes have started to grow. A beak has started to grow too, but it is very soft. The chick's wings are folded across its chest. Day 10, every day, the chick uses up more of the food from the yolk. The chick lies on its back inside the egg. Its wings, legs, and beak are fully grown. Sometimes the hen turns the eggs over. She keeps them warm on all sides. Day 11, the chick can open and close its beak now. It wiggles and bends within the albumen. Tiny bumps appear all over the chick's skin. In a few days, feathers will grow from these bumps. Day 14, the chick is tightly curled inside the egg. It turns to lay on its side. 
As the chick uses up more and more of the yolk and albumin, the waste bag expand, expands. The chick has grown a special bump on the end of its beak. This is called the egg tooth. I wonder what the egg tooth is used for. Can you take a guess? The hen clocks softly and turns her eggs again. The chicks are leaning to recognize the chicks are learning to recognize the sound of their mother's voice. The hen no longer leaves her eggs. She will not eat or drink again until after they have hatched. Wow, what a mama. Day 18, the chick has grown so big that it touches the inside of the shell on every side. Soft feathers, called down, cover its head and body. The chick uses up the last of the yolk. The yolk will give the chick energy to hatch and then rest for a few days without eating. Day 20, the chick practices breathing. In one day, it will hatch. Inside the eggshell, the chick pecks a hole into the airspace at the end of the egg. It takes its first breath and goes, cheep, cheep, cluck, cluck, answers the hen. The next day, the chick pecks a tiny hole in the shell using its egg tooth. This is tough work for the chick. After making the hole, the chick sleeps for a few hours. It's tired, that's a lot of work for a little baby chick. When the chick wakes up, it pecks for hours it pecks a circle around the inside of the shell. Next, it pushes hard against one side of the shell with its feet. Then it pushes hard against the other side with its neck and shoulders. Crack! The chick has hatched. The shell and the dried up waste sack fall away. The chick doesn't need its egg tooth anymore. In a few days, it will fall off. The chick is tired. It rests its wobbly legs as the other chicks finish hatching. The hen fluffs her feathers and spreads her wings to cover and warm her new chicks. The babies nestle close to their mother and sleep. As they rest, their down dries. Their legs and necks grow stronger. Hours later, the fluffy chick is the first to run out from beneath its mother's wings. The others soon follow. Together, the hen and her new chicks search for food in the barnyard. Are you ready to do an activity? Follow me. All right, my little scientists, we are going to do two activities together. One is we're going to see if we can take this egg and it's not a cooked egg, it's, it's a raw egg. It's an uncooked egg and a large bowl. And I'm going to hold this egg in the palm of my hands and I'm going to try to squeeze this egg as hard as I can. Why? Well, if you think about it, a hen has to sit on the egg, right? So baby chicks can be born and hens can be pretty heavy. So how does the hen sit on this egg without breaking it? Hmm, let me see if I can break it. I'm pushing as hard as I can. I cannot crack this egg. All right, so just like the pressure from the palm of my hand, a hen's weight spreads out evenly over the entire eggshell when she sits on the egg. That is what ensures that the egg will not break. Okay, let's take a look inside this egg. So now I am gonna break it, um, but I'm gonna break it by cracking it against the bowl. And let's take a nice look at this egg. Okay, do you see the yellow part there? Do you remember what that's called? Yes, that's the yellow yolk and it's gooey. Right? It's gooey. If you've ever um, scrambled an egg before with a fork, it's, it's very gooey. 
Um, now, do you see the clear albumin? That's the white part. We call that the white of the egg. Now, if you look closely, you will see some stringy pieces there. That's called the coulazy. Those help keep the yolk in place and protected within the egg. So now, if you'd like, you can draw all three parts of the inside of the egg. And you can scramble this egg up and make either an omelet or scrambled eggs. Remember to hit that subscribe and like button to support our channel.